the background to this research was other work that I had done with child soldiers and, and war affected kids in East and Central Africa. And after that, I wanted to uh, write an intervention, a life skills mental health program for all kids, for all kids in, in all schools in Uganda, uh, that we could be preventative. Um, and the idea was we would start out in Fields of Life partner schools. Fields of Life is a, an organisation I've been involved with for a long time. Their web address is about up here, here. And they have a network of schools. And so I wanted to design a kind of bespoke intervention, I guess, that would just meet the needs of their schools. So I went around a lot of Fields of Life schools and asked, you know, what were the issues outside of academia related to pastoral care, life skills, mental health that they could do with some support in. So we went out to Uganda and we uh, trained teachers to deliver the intervention. So we had about 600 uh, children that we assessed at baseline from the four schools. At the end of the year, um, we, we returned to Uganda and we did the post-intervention assessment and we found out that there had been a reduction in symptoms of depression and anxiety. There was an increase in pro-social skills an increase in self-efficacy and a greater sense of connectedness to schools, to teachers and to other peers. So the Living Well programme has had a really positive impact. We're really excited and encouraged um, by that. Um, and it's all down to the Ugandan staff that have provided the support for it, the Fields of Life staff, the young people who were the first to take on in the intervention and especially the teachers we have delivered it and they're the ones that have put passion into it, that contributed to it and they're the ones that are taking it forward in the future. So we wrote a paper um, following the programme and this is it here, it's just been published in Social Science and Medicine and it's free uh, to download and read if you're interested in some um, light bedtime reading. Um, I suppose the key aspects of it are, are demonstrating the effectiveness of the programme but also the impact of introducing a different type of teaching and learning style in Ugandan schools um, and how those staff were able to take that on board and implement it. And also, I think the key thing we're trying to say is that when you're doing any work with people from in a different country or a different culture than yourselves, it's really important to have local people involved in the whole process as equal team members making decisions and contributing to the project. And that's the only way that an intervention um, within a different culture can be sustainable and replicable and useful in the future.